according to alcoholproblemsandsolutions.com, there are only seven countries in the world that have a drinking age of 21. The only one of which that is considered a superpower country is the United States. The legal minimum drinking age in the U.S. has been 21 since Congress passed the National Drinking Age Act in 1984. This act does not prohibit states from lowering the drinking age, but gives severe penalties to states by not giving them highway funding. The affirmative pro proposal is to amend the natu National Minimum Drinking Age of the Ninth Act of 1984 to lower the age from 21 to 18. By doing this, states will not be forced into choosing whether to fund highways or lowering the, lowering the age. There are many benefits that will result from a lower drinking age. Be it resolved that the National Drinking Age Act of 1984 be amended to set the drinking age in the United States to be 18 years old. The points that will be brought up by the affirmative side are as follows. A higher drinking age causes young people to romanticize alcohol, leading to the misuse of alcohol when they reach 21. That 18-year-olds have the right to make much more significant and life-changing decisions, such as joining the military or getting married, and are considered adults that the evidence of other kind of countries with a lower drinking age have healthier drinking statistics than the U.S. That drinking at 18 to 21 will occur no matter what laws there, no matter what laws there are, and it is far too common. The final point that is to be brought up is that lowering the drinking age could save lives, and that those that drink under 21 are scared to bring their friend to the hospital or call someone for a ride due to fear of getting caught. This common knowledge that teens between the ages of 18 and 21 across the U.S. drink despite the laws. This illegal drinking in America occurs in underground and unsafe environments, where if it were legal, they could feel safe drinking in a public, safer, and less risky setting. In European culture, the lower drinking age is not considered to be something to fear. In their culture, as kids grow older, they are taught to drink responsibly and in a safe social, social setting. Scientist Alex Yellen has recorded statistics showing that fatalities from drunk driving in Europe are about equivalent to fatalities in the U.S. despite younger people legally drinking. Although there are many variables to consider, consider as Europe is known to have a much better public transportation system. Lowering the age will also diminish the thrill of getting drunk. It is human nature for teenagers to be rebellious. They tend to obsess and over and romanticize things that they are not allowed to do. It is far too common for the motivation of drinking underage, it's the rebellious spirit, rather than considering the health risks and learning to drink alcohol safely and responsibly. As a result, underage drinking often goes hand in hand with binge drinking. Lowering the age will help people consider the dangers of drinking and get educated in it. This will result in healthier long-term drinking habits. If the drinking age is lowered and alcohol is no longer a taboo for these young people, they can more openly discuss it with their parents or teachers and gain a better understanding of alcohol before they begin drinking. This would help stop the misuse of alcohol. Furthermore, since American teenagers learn to drive many years before they are allowed to drink, by the time they turn 21, most have been driving for five years and feel comfortable driving. Although when they start drinking, they often overestimate their driving abilities and have less understanding how, of how alcohol affects their ability to drive. Because of this, it is believed that a higher drinking age actually leads to more traffic fatalities. Middlebury College has created an organization called Choose Responsibility to promote and discuss promote discussion and public debate about how best to reduce alcohol abuse. This organization is in support of lowering the drinking age to 18 and also proposes a great solution to the problem of abusing alcohol. They propose to create an alcohol education program similar to the driver's education program in America. If one under the age of 21 and over the age of 18 wishes to drink, they will take a course taught by a certified alcohol educator and take a test to prove that they are knowledgeable in the dangers of alcohol. After this test, they would receive a license to buy alcohol that would expire once they reached the age of 21. If the drinking age were lowered to 18, this plan could be implemented to prove that someone has a significant amount of knowledge about alcohol Therefore, they should have the ability to choose to drink. If this act were to be amended, this plan would ensure safe drinking habits. The Drinking Age Act of 1984 is proven to have stronger negative effects on the health of young people than positive, and is necessary to amend the minimum age from 21 to 18 in order to save lives. Thank you.